Normally I like to get my light a little better than this, but not today. Hey, Sean, if you're anything like me and you've bought the a7S III, you need your camera, you need memory cards, and you need a card reader. Um, and if you're getting the new CF Express Type A cards, you need a special card reader for that. And these three things are shipping at very different times. I have my camera, my cards have been shipped, but they don't arrive until after my first gig, and my card reader for the CF Express Type A card is back ordered, and that's through Adorama. I have friends who've ordered through B&H who have received their card reader, but not their cards or their camera, and their camera has no idea, they, they don't know when it's going to ship. So things are all over the place, but if you're anything like a lot of us, you're wondering what can this camera do with what memory cards you buy? And what they've been saying is, you only need that CF Express Type A card if you're gonna shoot 4K, 60P, all I, like the highest quality recording, 10-bit 422. That's the only situation where you need that CF Express Type A. And that's true, but there's actually a lot that this camera can do without needing any good cards whatsoever. And by good cards, I don't just mean the CF Express Type A. There's different settings in this camera that can work with V90 SD cards, V60 SD card cards, or even V30 SD cards. And if you're anything like me, you have tons of V30 SD cards. Having been an A7 III user for a long time and an A7S III before that, um, I have no shortage of SD cards, but they're all V30. And as I bought my camera, I was like, I need to upgrade all my SD cards so that they work with this camera and I can record, you know, in 422, 10-bit and all that sort of stuff. And my camera arrived and I wanted to test it and I put in one of these old V30 cards and it worked. It's, it's working right now. So I started to wonder what different qualities of recording could happen on different SD cards and when do you need to level up an SD card and to what level to unlock different features of this camera because there's a whole lot you can do with your standard old V30 SD cards. So I went through and selected every quality and frame rate and format and, and made a little chart. And it tells you as you select a different frame rate, it'll say, well, you need to a V60 card or better. You need a V90 card or better to use this. You need to see if Express Type A card, whatever, or better. So I made the little chart of what works and you can actually film a lot on these V30 cards. So if you're recording in the XAVC HS, compression, which is the H.265 version, uh, or the XAVC-S, which is the H.264, the more common, less processor intense version, uh, albeit a bigger file. You can record in either of those two 4K at 24, 30, and 60 frames per second with full 422 10-bit color. You can record that onto a V30 SD card, the same ones that worked with your, your A7 III, your A7S II, and any of these older cameras. Now, if you level up to a V60 card, and remember, with all of these, there's a price difference too. Sure, you could just get the most expensive, but if you're shooting a whole bunch of interviews, it doesn't make sense to get a whole bunch of cards for that are you know will work for 120 at 422 10-bit because there's it's just gonna be extra money and you don't need that performance. So save yourself a few dollars and load up on some cheaper cards that are gonna serve you better. But if you do get the V60, the sort of next level up from the V30s, the V60s will allow you to shoot 120 frames a second in 422 10-bit at XAVC S and XAVC HS, both compressions, 4K at 120 frames a second. So without needing these special CF Express Type A cards or even SD cards that are V90 or higher, you can record 422 10-bit 120 frames a second in 4K onto those cards. And lastly, if you go up to an SD card with V90 ratings or higher, that's when you can unlock the 4K all intra frame recording at 422 10-bit color at 24, 30, and 60 frames a second. So a ton of power in those V90 cards. But again, if you're just shooting a whole bunch of interviews, you don't need that much power. And I'm relieved to have tested that and found it out before my first gig because my cards haven't arrived and my card reader hasn't arrived. And I know for many of you, it's the same way, but fret not, you can use your old cards and get a ton of power out of this camera. You can get that 422 10-bit, you can get 
4K, 60 frames a second. And if you've got a V60 card, something a little newer, you can get that 120 still in 422 10-bit at 4K without needing these special cards or anything, any of your special card readers to bring that onto your computer. So do a little audit of the work that you do to see, do you really need a V60, a V90, or the CF Express Type A cards? Yes, they unlock some very powerful things within the camera, but for all of your interviews, for all of your even 60 frames a second B-roll, you're gonna be fine with the same SD cards that have worked in all your previous cameras. So relax. That's what I'm doing, and I know that I'm going to be fine this weekend because I've tested it, and I've checked, and we're going to have a good time. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.